Hello Star Babies, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a March Favorites because March is over, basically. Um, I don't always do monthly favorite videos, but since this is one of my last videos, probably maybe the last video that I'll be filming in this apartment, I thought a March Favorites would be a nice, easy way to chat with you guys and just do a chill video. Um, I'm also so psyched about the next video I'll be posting after this. I filmed it, it took forever, and it's taking forever to edit, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. Let me take Mochi's harness off, because I know he's gonna shake. So anyway, let's just jump right in to the March favorites. Um, I will start with something miscellaneous. This is actually something I found on Amazon after I had been using their body wash and um, dish soap for a while. The brand is called, <clears throat> excuse me, the brand is called Puracy. They're a, band, a brand based in Austin, Texas. They are um, plant-based, non-toxic, naturally derived, just like amazing, <sighs> never tested on animals, cruelty-free, just like so fantastic. This particular product is their natural stain remover because I get makeup on my clothes a lot and I get food on my clothes a lot. Um, I'm always cooking and I'm always eating, to be honest, and I love to wear a lot of white, so... Um, yeah, it's not exciting when I have to worry that stains are not going to come out of my clothes. I had this pink sweatshirt, I think I wore it in my like Christmas gift guide, and it was like so stained because I accidentally washed it with some jeans that were new, and the blue denim from the jeans got on the sweatshirt, and I was like, oh, I'm actually screwed, this is not coming off. I washed it like four times and it didn't come out. This got it out. This has also gotten makeup out of the rim of this t-shirt before even washing it. Like you spray it on, I like to rub the fabric together where it's, you know, to like exfoliate the stain with the fabric and like you'll come back to it five minutes later and the stain will be gone and you haven't even washed it yet. Like it's unreal. I don't think it's very expensive at all. I got mine on Amazon. Again, it's the Puracy Natural Stain Remover and for somebody like me who makes messes all the time and plays with makeup and food and yada yada, this is just so good. So good. The next product, let's see. I will go with this. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Bath and Shower Gel. Um, the scent is Honey Mango. The scent is absolutely amazing. If you like kind of tart peachy, passion fruity. It's tropical but not um, like strawberry or anything like that. It doesn't smell like a fake smoothie. It just kind of, it reminds me of the really fruity body butters from the body shop. Like just really tart and it just smells great. Um, I like that it comes in a big container. I will be taking this with me to Utah because I haven't even gone through half of it. But I love that it smells so good, and I love that um, it's a great scent for summer, and I love that it doesn't leave my body dry. It's kind of like a trip going from soap or other kinds of body wash to this, because it almost feels like you're not clean, because I've been used to like a squeaky clean feel. But this is much more gentle on my skin. I've also been doubling it as a shave, uh, like a shaving gel and it's just gentle on my skin, it doesn't strip it because I have very dry skin and yeah, this is for extra dry skin so it makes sense that it doesn't feel squeaky or have any of those harsh um, cleansers in there. It's just, I really love it. Oh, you can also use it uh, for a bubble bath, so that's good. Um, yeah, no animal testing, parabens, anything like that, no sulfates, Har harsh sulfates at least. So yeah, love this, fantastic. I bought mine at Whole Foods. Another product I've been loving in the shower is the um, Natural Tech Purifying Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. This is actually by Daviness, which is a brand I used to use a lot when I had highlights uh, because they have an amazing conditioning mask kind of thing that's purple. Um, and I know a lot of hairdressers really trust this brand. Um, I have been having some major dandruff issues. I don't know why. I don't know if it's hormonal. I don't know what I've changed that would make that happen, but my scalp has been very dry and very flaky. And with dark hair and when you wear dark clothes, it's really embarrassing because people kind of associate dandruff with like being dirty or that you don't shower enough or something. And it's like, trust me, if I showered every day, it would only get worse. Um, and I know that it does run in my family a little bit and especially the dry skin and the itchy scalp, but this has really helped. I've used this three times 
and um, as long as I'm consistently using it, I'd say every three days, I really can't with my scalp now go for long periods of time. Um, but as long as I am using it, you know, every three days or so, or if I go to hot yoga, I need to wash my hair immediately. This is great. My scalp has not been itching. It hasn't been flaking. Um, and I'm very thankful for that because I was getting pretty embarrassed having that issue. Like my boyfriend would like, oh, like love me, like give me a little love in my hair. And I'd be like, <clears throat> so let's be real. Nobody wants that. Um, I bought this at the beauty supply down the street. It was $30.95, but that means I got it for like 23, I think. I think my discount's 20. Anyway, um, yeah, this is great. Love it, love it, love it. it. Smells amazing. And I just like to like massage it into my scalp and then leave it while I'm shaving or something. I use it like opposite conditioner. So I, I'll let that soak into my scalp and then the conditioner I use a little bit more quickly. Um, one thing I love also in and out of the shower is the Corez, oh, this is kind of dirty. <laughs> Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I've been, um, breaking down my makeup with coconut oil and then going in with this because it's a foaming cleanser that's going to cut through the oil but it's not like a super drying squeaky clean feeling gel cleanser um i love Cora's products i used to use so many of them when i was younger i know they used to have much more of an extensive line in sephora with body products and everything but they're a greek line um i think they've been around since what 1996 and i just love their ingredients um and they're gentle and amazing. I love this cleanser, it's great. Uh, it's very, very gentle. It's just your standard cleanser. It does have a little bit of a fragrance, but I've rubbed it against my eyes. It doesn't hurt my eyes. I just, I really like it. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not doing anything drastic to my skin, and for a cleanser, that's what I like to see. I don't like to see anything extreme. Uh, I also have been loving, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before, but the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant Sport Lux. This is the one I normally use, and I wasn't able to find it on Sephora.com for quite some time, so I was using another deodorant from the detox market that I liked a lot, but it had baking soda in there, so, so once in a while my armpits would become very irritated, and they would sting and like get little red bumps. That's not good, and I also could not apply that straight after the shower. This, I can apply after shaving in the shower, and it doesn't like hurt the my armpits, um, and it keeps me smelling super fresh. I don't, it's actually an Allure Best of Beauty 2016 winner, so that's cool. But yeah, I have not um, tried the other La Vanilla deodorants, so I can't speak to those, but the Sport Lux is the home skillet. I went for the Sport Lux immediately when I first bought this, because I was like, I just want the strongest, because a lot of natural deodorants Deodorants do not work for me, especially because I'm, um, I guess, an athlete. I like to work out and I like to move my body, so I'm not trying to smell bad. This is great. So great. I've also been loving the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. This is totally the best facial spray I've ever tried. Completely non-irritating. I love that it has aloe in there and it really helps to calm my redness. Um, and it just feels good. It smells good. I adore this. I will definitely be repurchasing it. It's, I mean, it's a standard, very gentle facial spray. I just really like it. I've had a lot of rose water sprays and face toners and stuff, and this feels like it's just balancing me a little bit and soothing the skin, not doing anything more extreme than that, and I really appreciate that. So, cruelty-free, paraben-free, very affordable. Love Mario Badescu products. I definitely need to get a bigger one if they make them. Also, when I do makeup, I use this on clients as well, and I really like that. Um, also been loving the Neogen, I think my boyfriend's been stealing some of these. The Neogen Dermatology Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Green Tea. So, I've seen this a lot, I've been like obsessing over K-beauty videos, because I was like super minimal French skincare, and now I'm like, but I like like a little bit of the Korean beauty stuff too, because I don't have perfect enough skin to just do like cleanser and moisturizer like the French like to do, but it comes in this container, which I don't love that it's a big plastic container and that these are disposable, but listen, I'm not using them all the time. Um, they're basically these little pads. I'll take one out, but I'm going to put it back, so don't call me gross. These little pads soaked in, like, green tea essence, I want to say. Um, and you slip your fingers through the pad. This side is gauze, which I actually I wear it the other way. This side is, like, if you just want to use it as a toner. 
but it's gauze so it exfoliates your skin very very well and very gently I do keep it away from my upper lip most of the time if I have anything open I always have issues on my upper lip and it's always red and stuff but to get in like the crevices of your nose uh, your na nasal folds what is it called I know they have a name anyway in here uh, my cheeks I'm like I'm on retin stuttering I'm on retinoids and so my skin is um, like regenerating very quickly so I do have like a lot of flaky skin that might be why my scalp is flaky too anyway uh, so my my scars are kind of fading which is good a new skin is coming up but I have a lot of flakiness that needs to get off and this works really well you guys know I love physical exfoliants or I'm sorry chemical exfoliants it's like my AHAs my BHAs but if you have crusty crust on your skin that you need to get off this is great I wouldn't use it every day. I use it maybe once or twice a week, depending on how my skin is feeling. I believe this does have some alcohol. Yeah, so if your skin is extremely ir um, irritable with alcohol and fragrance, be careful with that. I do know a lot of K-Beauty products have a lot of fragrance, a lot of alcohol, but for me, the texture of this works very well to just like have localized exfoliation. So I really like that. Uh, another like little skincare product. I've been loving the NCLA So Rich uh, cuticle oil. This one is in Love Potion. It's really really cute. It like has little hearts and glitter floating around. Not that that really matters or does anything for your cuticles. I just like it a lot. And this one smells like rose. I'm actually gonna use some now. And yeah, it's just really important for me to keep my cuticles healthy. I've realized. They also just look so crappy. I usually, like, when I'm stressed, I bite them a lot. And they look so gross. So this, like, immediately just makes them look better and not so crusty. Um, I got this from... I do know they carry NCLA at Detox Market, maybe Credo. I know it's um, pretty natural, cruelty-free, and vegan, I want to say. And I got mine at Color Camp, which is, um, like, a little nail design place that I go to here in L.A. But... I'm sure you can order NCLA online or get it at any, like, uh, kind of boutique green beauty stores. I really, really love this. And the manicurist just put it on me and I immediately smelled the roses and I was like, what is that? So, love this. Also have been loving for SPF because I'm an SPF girl now. Um, the Color Science Sun Forgettable Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is water resistant for 80 minutes. It's a loose mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So one of those typical brush on, um, brush on sunscreens. You might want to spray this with alcohol every once in a while to make sure that it's clean. I like this because it doesn't break me out because it's a powder. So even though I love my La Roche Posay serum, I ran out of that. That was SPF 50, but this is SPF 30, and I think SPF 30 blocks up to like 97% of um, rays. So like we're good. Anything above 50 is technically like a myth. It's not real. So this is actually good for me. I like it on days when I'm not wearing any makeup. It actually gives me a little bit of a blurring effect and just look makes me look a little nicer. I wouldn't say it has much coverage, but. I don't know, I, I just like to dust it, or over makeup, it looks great and does not look cakey. I think I got this in, where did I get this? I did not buy this, because I know this is kind of expensive. This is um medium, by the way, this shade. I saw this in a store and it's like 40 bucks or something, 40 or 50, but um, I think I got this in my Bless box, my Sazan Hendrix Bless, Bless box. Otherwise, I can't imagine where else I would have gotten it. So, anyway, um, I really, really like it. Great SPF product. I went to the dog park yesterday, and... Where's my... Yeah. Didn't think I needed to wear sunscreen, because I wasn't there for very long, and I only had this on my face. Should have worn SPF on my body. So, no burns on my face, so that's good. Um, and living in Utah, I'm going to need a trusty SPF. So, definitely down with that. Um... Let's see, uh, hair, I've really been loving the L'Oreal Paris Extraordinary Oil, Lustrous Oil Serum. It smells absolutely incredible. It makes my hair softer and easy to manage because my hair is very, very coarse. Um, <clears throat> I like to put it in when it's wet. Don't use too much, it will make your hair greasy because I think there's like probably silicones in there that are kind of coating your hair. But with my texture, 
it is really nice to sometimes use products like this. Like I know even, I haven't used it in years, but Pantene used to make my hair feel really good and so manageable because it just totally coats it. But once in a while, like if you really need your thick, coarse hair to look good, using products like this is, is good. I like it a lot. I got this also in the Bless box um, and I really like that. It just smells absolutely incredible. It smells like expensive vanilla. I love it. And it makes your hair pretty shiny, so I love that too. As far as makeup, um, let's see. The palette that I've been loving, I mean, I'm very late. I don't really need to talk about it, but Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm wearing it today. Just like, it's just so good. I have no idea why. I mean, I don't wear heavy makeup on a daily basis, so I didn't really need this, but once I started doing makeup, I wanted this in my kit because it has a pretty good shade range. Um, this is what it looks like. So you've got your contour colors and your traditional like highlight colors, not sparkly stuff. Um, so I have these two under the eyes. It like totally brightens them. And these two I usually use as contour and I also obviously desanitize this every time I use it and I use it in my makeup kit. So this is totally great. I want to say it's about 40 bucks and I just have been loving this, especially when I do my makeup for auditions or on camera or a night out. I'm always using this. Um, I've also been loving this brush. This is a Bedellium Tools brush, uh, number 947. I have been using this for like everything. I will roll it to set my concealer and to use that, um, to use that powder. I will actually use it today. That was the only brush I used today. Uh, I used it to contour. I used it to apply my highlight. Like you guys know I'm a one brush girl and if you're not, like you don't need to judge me. I don't give a fuck so um, anyway I, I just love this brush so much and it's actually so great when I'm doing um, other people's makeup as well it's just really multi-purpose not too dense and not too soft and I love that it's pink it's kind of dirty right now but love Bedellium tools seriously uh, I've also been loving as far as foundation goes the only one I've been wearing when I'm wearing foundation is the wet and wild photo focus oh my god this is so good what did I get this for I got this for I think like my sister's wedding or something. Anyway, I definitely wore it for my sister's wedding and I've been wearing it in like all of the flash photography that you see on my Instagrams. Follow me by the way. This color is golden beige. It's cruelty free. Like Wet n Wild is so affordable. They're just so fantastic. I just, this foundation is so ridiculous. I have dry, bumpy, acne prone skin that really just most of the time does not look great with foundation on it. And this is just, ah, oh, it's so good you guys. Yeah, I've gotten like a bunch of my friends on it and it's freaking fantastic for flash photography. It's fantastic for every day. It's like really, you can just wear it basically whenever. Uh, love this foundation. Cannot vouch for it enough. Obsessed. What else? Uh, three more products. So, my favorite mascara. I was using Drugstore for a while, and then I was playing around with this one at Ulta, and I just was like, I mean... This is Monsieur Big by Lancome, and holy hell, <laughs> it's amazing. I'm wearing it today with just curled lashes. I have very straight eyelashes, so whenever my lashes look, like, long or, like, fluffy at all, that mascara... I gotta give it some some credit. So this is the brush. I mean, honestly, I'm not a guru, so I'm not gonna talk like a bunch about the brush. It's pretty much just a standard brush. Easy to hold. The packaging's kinda nice and chunky so that you can find it. Um, yeah, it's definitely lengthening and pretty volumizing. I already have pretty thick lashes, but it's for sure, yeah, I would say mostly lengthening, like extreme lengthening, and then volumizing as well. I can't imagine anybody who wouldn't like this. Excuse me. Your lashes will not be spidery. They will not be clumpy, crusty. This doesn't flake off. It's just like, I mean, but Lancome knows what they're doing, honey. This is so good. I'm obsessed. Two more products. Another Lancome product because I've just been on the Lancome kick. <sighs> So I loved the Juicy Shaker concept with the, I mean, not good for makeup artists because obviously you don't want to put this little sponge on everybody's mouth and you, there's no real way to like really desanitize that. But as like an individual consumer, um, I loved the idea of the Juicy Lip Shaker oils, but I don't like, it depends. I'm not usually into super glossy lips uh, unless I'm like on camera or something day to day. It's just, 
and lip oils is just not really my thing. Uh, I like something that's a little easier, a little like more of a no-brainer, so like I like a light matte but not like a liquid lip that I have to be super careful with. This is the, they, they actually, yeah, they came out with matte shakers. So any of my Instagram photos, or I think I've like definitely posted a recent video. Anyway, no, if you go to my Instagram, any of the photos on either my Instagram where I'm at my sister's wedding in that like silver dress, TBH, I think my lips look giant, and I think I kind of look like I've had a little pump, you know, from the doctor, which I was living for. This is um, the Lancome Matte Shaker in Nude Deli. First of all, their line, their, their color line is gorgeous, and I've tried like almost every color at Ulta just playing around. This is just so good. The darker my skin gets, or like the more I'm bronzing, the more nude this looks, but when my skin is very pale, it looks like a really nice... Um, brownie pink so if you're more pale this is like a total Kylie Jenner 90s lip color and then if you're more dark this is gonna be a nice Kim Kardashian nude um, that still has pink so you're not gonna look super washed out but paired with like Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lip liner or any like um, NYX what's it called natural natural or nude lip liner Girl, your lips are gonna look enormous because that's the way I line my lips. Like, I really like to go over on the sides because I just find that that makes my lips look more pouty. Like, rather than overlining in the middle, like to look like a clown, I love when it's like, ooh, like we got a like juicy top lip. And this, honestly, you just dab it, go like that. You don't even have to be careful with your application. These are just like, I need all of these. I don't. I don't need all of them. But. I will definitely be purchasing more and for sure purchasing this color because oh my god it's so gorgeous. And finally, I gotta give big ups to my girl Ariana Grande. Okay, <clears throat> supposed to be a whistle tone, that didn't happen. Ariana Grande. I was in Ulta like months ago and I'm always just spraying perfumes. I'm one of those girls that just can't stick to one perfume. I just don't have a signature. My mood just changes too much. My style changes too much. My hair changes too much. I can't do it. You know, I need perfume that matches my look and my vibe that day. And I will admit that I am a sucker for some stripper perfumes, okay? Sometimes I like to smell like a stripper, especially when I'm going out. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because I'm from the generation where we were all about Bath and Body Works body sprays and Limited 2 and freaking Lulu's and girl we were Claire's like we that would that's just nostalgic for me so sweet like candy by Ariana Grande I know kind of smelled I don't know it's just like a generic sweet smell but I did like it because it was like very very sweet and candy like and reminded me a little bit of pink sugar which I bought when I was like 12 and then two Christmases ago I had my mom buy that for me again when I was 21 so um this is sweet like candy rollerball so what is the other one called? No, Sweet. What did I just say? The original one by Ariana Grande reminds me of Pink Sugar. This one is a little bit different. This is Sweet Like Candy, and I got the rollerball. I could not resist. This smells like... Honestly, it does smell like some kind of Bath & Body Claire's body spray, but like... But like, you've recently turned 20, so you like... Why do I like scents like this? It smells like pink sugar without all of the deep warm sexy notes and more of like sweet tarts which I don't know why I would like it and it also gives me like blackberry vibes I don't love fruity berry scents but when I say blackberry and you smell this you'll know what I mean it's like a very sparkly sweet it's like you know you just started stripping it's your first week and you're like a little like a little cutie like you just want to I have to stop. Anyway, this is it. I've been wearing this every day and i um, definitely not gonna change that up today. My boyfriend loves when I wear this. Every time I wear it, he's like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I'm like, girl, thank Ariana Grande. She's helping me become the little thought that I always wanted to be. I love the fragrance, whatever. I like it. Okay. Um, yeah, those are my March favorites, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys so much. Please follow me on my social media to keep up with my move because I'm moving in like, oh my god, five days or something. Next Friday, Friday, April 6th, I will be on my way to my new life in Utah. Uh, hope you guys are doing so well. Love you so much. If you're not subscribed, please do that and join the Star Baby family. 
and I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah! Bye.